Good morning traders, this is Tony D from the Easy Market Stealing Room. An important update today because there is a lot of movement. Uh, those looking for lack of movement yesterday because the holidays were a little bit surprised when they woke up this morning and saw the crash in the Euro and uh, let's have a little bit of a chat about that because it is the main uh, story in the market right now. And this is on the uh, Italian risks that are now getting very serious. Uh, and the reason is that although the uh, announcement that there was going to be a new interim uh, technocrat pres uh, prime minister uh, government led by uh, former IMF uh, member, uh, the very chances are there's going to be a snap election. All right, so the, the main parties are now fighting over the story and the message. And there's a lot of presumed interference from the Eurozone now. And so the people on the street are going to very likely take a dim view to that. So in the re-election, um, in the new election, there's a chance of anti-EU becoming uh, a major theme in the parties that are uh, clamoring for votes. And already the, the, the new government that was formed and then dis, uh, has been uh, disbanded already was a very fringe uh, parliament anyway. So the, the parties were on the uh, definitely Eurosceptic spectrum. And if they were to gain more votes and have a more uh, stronger uh, mandate, then the chances of the of the actual whole election becoming a pro EU versus um, out of EU uh, debate is is going to really create a, a couple of months now of, of uncertainty in the euro and and very negative in general um, overtures here uh, for the Italian economy and and debt, which is what you saw last night. Italian yield surged after initially uh, having a nice little bounce in the euro and Italian yields dropping, um, they surged again as it became clear what this meant and the markets took a, a dim view of it. So the euro is at multi-month low, uh, multi-year lows now and is um, looking a little bit more pressured uh, towards testing some of those key levels. So the, the previous swing low uh, back in, in October was just a little bit lower than here. This is the next big level that every trader is looking at, 105.50. Um, now that is uh, very likely to be tested in, in the coming days as the negativity continues. Uh, some sort of clarity from the ECB about uh, what the actions are going to be taking in the next couple of months is going to be key as well because ECB was on track to end the QE program. But with the ECB being the only one at the moment buying uh, Italian bonds and the market heavily selling them, uh, there is some uh, well-formed arguments here that the ECB is going to remain uh, in the market for the f well until we get some sort of uh, stability. So it might not be the timing may not be right for the ECB to end its QE just because of the Italian side of uh, the equation, and that could lead to um, that could lead to a little bit more uh, delay in when the ECB uh, both ends it and then starts to think about raising rates if everything does turn out okay in Italy uh, after September. All right, but that's you know still a big if, and when there's uncertainty in market, it's very easy for the sellers to gain control because the buyers have such a lack of conviction. You saw this in the pound uh, back in the Brexit days, and you've seen it in um, almost any pair where you've seen the uncertainty reign. Uh, well, definitely you saw it in the euro back in the previous a a crisis that we had there, the sovereign debt crisis. But now um, this resurgent. Well, the resurfacing of the, of the sovereign debt crisis via Italy, uh, and it could become a European crisis again because you are seeing some tick higher in, in Portugal bonds as well overnight. Uh, you know, this is the has all the makings of, of being uh, a multi-month story rather than multi-week. So it does get a little bit more uh, less technical in terms of where you can buy, where you can sell. Um, looking to sell rallies while this uh, is in play does seem like the favoured way now. Uh, it's turned from, you know, potentially a problem into a big problem uh, quite quickly, and that's uh, you know, the, sh the nature of this sort of uh, story in the markets that it can become real. And if it does, then you are you, you have to adjust your your view. So if it's oversold, but not when you talk about the story. You know, the market still has room to move as well, and it could end up being uh, the thing which takes us below 115. All right, um, if you're talking about how the rest of the market's faring, well, the euro is such a big boy that it is very hard for the US dollar not to gain against most pairs. And you saw that with the Aussie dollar under pressure. You see the uh, pound under pressure a little bit as well. And that's uh, it's going to be harder for the 
for, for both these pairs to, to come up for air. The Delta Index in itself uh, is making gains. Um, it's not pure though because the other big pair, Dollar Yen, is gaining in the risk off environment. So if Dollar Yen's falling and the Euro is falling, then Euro Yen's really falling uh, and it's uh, breaking out of its downward trend channel now. Now the big target for the Euro Yen was 126. So we are here now and it's uh, this is a 50% retracement of the whole rally that we saw in uh, 2017. So we do have to be a little bit cautious that we're not getting ahead of ourselves um, uh, for the big levels. So, you know, Euros are big levels too, but um, by no means is it safe to buy big levels just because they're there. Uh, if the story is big enough, it can crash through them. Uh, it is going to be interesting to see when the rest of the market comes back online. Today you've got the US and uh, UK coming back. Maybe things will settle down a little bit, um, lead to some sort of uh, recovery. Uh, but that recovery shouldn't get too far. Uh, like we said, because the story is not going away and it's going to provide constant ammunition to the sellers until we get some sort of resolution or polling that suggests uh, which party is going to be um, doing well in the next election uh, for Italy. Alright guys, I hope that clears up what's happened overnight. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, the rest of the day or uh, some of the crosses coming forward, because some of the crosses now are, are really in play, uh, contact us on, on the numbers below. Um, if you're not a member of the Easy Markets Dealing Room, please sign up on the link below and you'll be assigned a deal like myself or uh, Jonathan Snyder or Jimmy Pan if you're in crypto. is uh, very, very solid in those fields uh, that can help you with your uh, trading.